Hi friends, it's Tamara Bennett with Southern Adornments Decor. How are you guys tonight? We are gonna be painting a volleyball door hanger. And this thing's big. It's size to 20 inches, but I guess when it's a circle, it just looks huge. So I'm excited to get started with this because we're gonna do some really cute hand lettering. And um, I want you guys to watch how I do this hand lettering because it's gonna be so cute. All right, let me get this brought up because I've got the phone far enough away that it is hard for me to see the comments. So let me get this pulled up on my iPad so I can read your comments. Hi Tristan, how are you guys? Okay, I got it pulled up. So let me turn this so I can read more comments because sometimes they disappear before I can read them all. Hey Christy. Okay, so I've got this big huge circle and I've already drawn some lines on it to look like volleyball lines. Oh, there you go, you can kind of see them. Volleyball lines really aren't that hard to draw, not like soccer ball lines are. If you've ever tried to paint a soccer ball, you would know that those are hard to draw. Hey, Lisa and Barbara and Debbie and Julie and Leanne and Lynn, you guys are awesome, showing up again. Okay, today is day five um, of my 10 days of lives, so we are halfway there. Um, let's see, I'm gonna be doing some really cute hand lettering, so I want you guys to see this. I've already painted this white and I've already drawn my lines on there, so we're just gonna start out by doing the um, volleyball lines and then we're gonna do some hand lettering on this and it's gonna be so cute. If you guys want to do a volleyball door hanger um, and you're kinda like scared of drawing these lines, I do have a template on my website for the volleyball. Um, and I don't know if my husband's got it hooked up or not yet. He is supposed to be hooking up the chat bot. I'm teaching him how. But in a few moments, if you want to get that template, you can comment template and it will send you a link to get the template. And if you want to just get a blank circle door hanger like this one to paint a basketball or a volleyball or whatever kind of ball you want, you can comment blank and it will send you a link to get the blank. Now, I don't know if that's hooked up just yet. So if you type it in and it doesn't pop up, my husband is learning and he may take just a minute to figure out how to do it. Okay, I took two colors. I took slate gray and mixed it with just a little bit of white because I didn't want it to be that dark. I want some really light gray uh, volleyball lines. <laughs> hi, Mom. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Tarita and Pam. Andrea, you're watching from a soccer ball game while I'm painting a volleyball. That is too funny. Thank you, Lisa, for sharing this. Also, if you guys don't mind sharing this video, Whoever wins the drawing, because I'm, I'm going to start trying to give away something every single time I do a live video. So today, if you share this video, you're going to get three templates from my shop, and you'll get to pick whichever templates you want. So share the video, and you get to pick three templates for free if you win. And I'm just using a round tip brush, size number six, to trace these lines. And if you'll notice, I'm kind of pulling the brush towards me. That helps me control the flow of paint much better. And this is not going to take no time at all. And then we're going to do some really cute hand lettering. And the hand lettering is going to be red and Carolina blue because that is our school colors. And the little girl that is getting this door hanger plays for Callaway County. Hi, Charmin. I hope I'm saying your name right. Thank you for sharing, Tanya and Diana. How many of you guys have been painting today? This is actually my first time picking up a paintbrush today. I've been so busy um, doing boring computer stuff that I haven't gotten to paint much. So I was excited to get on here tonight and just take a few minutes and de-stress. Homework's done. Dinner's done. It's time to paint. But like I said, I keep rotating the door hanger so that um, when I'm doing these lines, I'm pulling the brush towards me. So if you have a shaky hand or if you have trouble doing a nice smooth line, try pulling the brush towards you. And I'm keeping my hand flat against this door hanger. So make sure the paint underneath your hand is really dry because um, you can use the door hanger to brace your hand and just slide. So really your hand, like, this part of your hand is not moving at all. You're just using your arm to pull your hand. So your arm has more stability than maybe your fingers do. April says she's been getting jiggy with it today. I love it. Did you guys see my Painter's Clubhouse t-shirt? It says, I'm a Painter's Clubhouse junkie. And so, huh? okay, hang on. My husband's bringing me my laptop. Thank you. All of them else are dead, the 134 wouldn't. Okay, uh, let's see. 
We were having trouble getting the chat bot set up, so let me see if there's something maybe um, we need to do differently. You need me to change these? Hmm. Well, it's saying that something's wrong with it, so um, I don't know what that would be. Don't send an opt-in message. Okay. Well. All the other ones. Yeah. Can you guys give me just a second while I go back and fix this? Because I want you guys to be able to get this template if you need it. Um, this won't take just a second. Hang on. I just got to copy and paste something in here and we're going to try this again. Okay, settings. All this techie stuff. My husband did all the other ones for me and he did a great job. So that may be his job from now on. <laughs> This one, for whatever reason, said that something was wrong with it. Okay, now it's working. All right, if you got all the other ones, we're good. Okay. All right, put the computer down. Let's get back to the fun. All right, so if you want the template or the blank, you just comment the word template or blank, and it will send you a direct link to my website to find those. My templates are $5 each. The blanks uh, are $15 each. And... Um, if you want to get the brushes that I'm using, you can comment. Um, oh shoot, I bet I didn't do that one right. Mm. Well, if you want to get the brushes, go to southernadornmentsdecor.com and click on resource list up at the top. Okay, so now it looks like a volleyball. Let's see, I think the top is kind of like this. That's how I had drawn it, like this. Okay, yes, and if you share the video, you can win three templates from my shop. You get to pick which one. Okay, let me draw this, and then we're going to do some lettering. That's the fun part. Because y'all know, with my hand on here, if I don't have it dry, I'm going to drag that paint and make a big old mess. Oh, Cecile got to go to Hobby Lobby today. I'm jealous. <laughs> I haven't been to Hobby Lobby in a while. I'm having withdrawals. Lynn says you shared and shared and shared. You must really want those templates. Thank you guys. Okay. Um, now I'm using some odd paints tonight. These are Deco Art Americana paints. No, they're not Americana. They're Deco Art paints, but they say patent leather on them. Like they're made to go over, or it says high gloss paint. I guess they're supposed to look like patent leather shoes when you're done, but I just like the colors, so that's why I picked these. <laughs> Uh, let's see, and I, the brushes I'm fixing to use are in my resource list if you want them. They are filbert tip brushes, and I love these kinds of brushes for lettering. And I don't have a paper towel. I'll pull one out of the trash can. <laughs> it's still got paint all over it, but at least it's dry. It'll soak up the water from my brushes. Hi, Scarlett. Good to see you, too. <laughs> Dakota says, I need some new things for your front door. Well, girl... Come join my Painters Clubhouse. It is opening back up on Thursday and Friday only. Two days. A two-day flash promotion is what they call it. And so um, for two days only, it's going to be open. It's $37 a month. I'll teach you to paint two new door hangers every single month. You'll get templates for how to paint the door hangers. You can just print those out at home, tape them together, cut them out with scissors, and then take that template and trace it on the wood and cut it out of wood using either a scroll saw or a jigsaw or if you're really fancy and you have a laser cutting machine, you can just take the JPEG that you get and upload it into your cutting machine. Wish I had one of those. Uh, hey Kay, hi Becky. Scarlett says your mom Sue is watching. How can she be notified when I go live? Scarlett, I'm glad you asked. If you want to be notified next time I go live, type in the word live alert in the comments and it will send you a link asking you if you wanna be notified next time, next time I go live but you have to reply to that to that message with yes or something like that. Now, if you already got a notification tonight that I was going live, you don't have to do that again. I see a lot of you guys doing that every single time I go live and you don't have to do that. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, like I said, Painters Clubhouse opens on Thursday and Friday if you wanna come join me. It is the most awesome place. And if you're watching and you're a member, I would love it if you commented uh, like a little you know, something and tell us like that you love Painters Clubhouse or what you think about it. Just like a quick little like short testimony. That way people will know how much we love it and it's just not believing me that um, that I'm saying it. 
Oh, Angela, if you're interested in signing up for Painters Clubhouse, you'll have to wait until Thursday or Friday. But if you want to just go read more about it and see the page where you can sign up, you can type in the words Clubhouse in the comments and it should send you a link. Um, I'm not sure. I hope it works. My husband set it up. So if it doesn't, I'll check it after the video and fix it. Okay, so we're using a red paint and I've got some filbert tip brushes here. Now filbert tips are rounded at the top. They're not squared, they're kind of rounded. And so I'm gonna be using this for the main part of my lettering. And um, it might be helpful if I pull the camera a little closer and angle it down so you guys can better see exactly what I'm doing here. I don't wanna break my tripod. <laughs> I'm trying to do this gently. Okay, there we go. So you won't be able to see my face very well, but alrighty, let's get some red paint loaded up. This is a size number 10. Now these Filbert trip brushes in my website actually go all the way up through size 12 and the size four is the one I use the most. But because this door hanger is so big and I want the lettering to be real, pretty big, I'm gonna use the size 10 because I want pretty big letters. Um, okay, so her name is Emily. And this is not going to be real fancy lettering, but it's going to be really cute. So let's just put down the letters first. Now the trick with these filbert tip brushes is, you know, you keep them pushed all the way down until you get to the end of the letter and then you lift up. And it's supposed to create a much smoother end so your ends aren't real ragged looking. I didn't do a real good job of that on that one. Let me thicken this up just a little bit. There we go. E. And I may go over this red twice just so that it covers extra good on top of the gray lines. Um, Jillian says, do we have to be in Painters Clubhouse to buy the templates? No, ma'am, you do not. You can buy the templates on my website at any time. Now, I will say Painters Clubhouse members get the extra perk of getting templates um, they get two templates every month for free, or not for free, they're paying to be in the Painters Clubhouse, but they get them with their membership, um, two each month, but they also get the extra added perk of being able to buy anything in that shop, the stencils, the stencil cut files, the blanks, or the templates at 20% off any time throughout the year, but you have to be a Painters Clubhouse member to have that perk. So, oh, look at what I just did. I just got my finger in the white paint and smeared that red right across there. So here I am on Facebook Live, licking my finger and trying to clean it up, but I'll just have to paint over it with white. Okay, she also wanted her volleyball number on here, so I'm gonna paint the number symbol, and then we're gonna go back and do um, a little shadowing technique to make these letters pop with the Carolina blue. Okay, number 25, and I know that's backwards. Let me flip my camera for you guys. I always forget to do that, I apologize, because I know y'all want to see it the way it's supposed to be seen, not in mirror mode here. Okay, there we go. Emily, number 25. Now let's add some cute um, shadowing to it. Oh, thank you guys for leaving your little clubhouse testimonies. Y'all are awesome. Now, T Tina, that was a filbert tip number 10, size number 10. Um, let's see. Okay, now the color I'm using for this part is called turquoise, but really, to me, it's like a Carolina blue. I don't know why they call it turquoise. It is not turquoise. And it's rather thin. Okay, so for a drop shadow, I'm going to put it on... Uh, you just pick. I'm going to put it, I'm going to pretend like there's a light shining down right here. Like pretend like this is a light and it's shining in this direction. So the shadow would be on the right side and underneath this letter. It would not be on the top and left side of everything. So right side and underneath. There we go. So we've already got it on the E there. I'll show you guys what this looks like up close in just a moment. Oh, 
Oh, thank you, Tracy. Amy says, I love your videos, how well you explain things. Well, girl, sometimes I feel like I don't explain things well, and I feel like I just ramble. And then I'll watch the video back later, and I'll think, well, that made more sense than I thought it did. <laughs> but while I'm in the moment, I think they probably don't have a clue what I'm talking about because I'm talking so fast, and I don't know what I'm saying. But apparently you guys do get it because y'all keep coming back for more. <laughs> This is so cute. Of course, these are our school colors, like I said, um, for our local school and actually my alma mater, as you will, or whatever you would say. And this kind of reminds me of like a retro design that I would, that you might see like the cheerleaders do on like an, a football sign that the players are going to run and tear through. That's what this reminds me of. Now on this one, on the five, it's kind of tricky because it's curved. So I, I am making the biggest mess. I told you guys this paint was um, runny. Well, guess what it's doing? It's flicking all over the door hanger and making a big old mess. I'm just gonna try to blot this up the best I can and then go back and touch it up because it looks like I've been playing splatter paint over here. Like, um, what's that guy that did the splatter paint that was so famous? I'm drawing a blank. I learned about him in college. Jackson Pollock, that's who it was. Jackson Pollock, he was like, made millions of dollars doing splatter paint. And here I am messing my door hanger up with it. <laughs> April, I am from Murray, Kentucky. Murray, Kentucky. Okay, so I'm just taking this white and fixing my splatter paint mess. And then I will show you guys real quick what this looks like up close. I can't show you what the splatter paint looks like. That looks awful. Like I said, that blue paint was really runny and it just splattered everywhere. It's not what I want. I may have to go back after this video is over and do some touch up work, but you guys probably won't be able to see it um, while just looking. If you're tuning in late, be, in, be sure and share this video because you can win three door hanger templates. Okay, y'all see that lettering? Isn't that cute? Emily, number 25. That is so stinking cute. Okay, um, she says, what brushes do you use overall? Um, as far as brushes, I love using flat tipped brushes for most of my work, like these type right here. And I have these linked on my resource list as well. Um, SouthernAdornmentsDecor.com and then click on resource list at the top of the page. Um, and I also, one of my favorites is this one. It is a round tipped brush, number six. That's what I used to do all of the lines on the volleyball. See, it's kind of thick for like a round tipped brush, but it holds lots of paint and it does really nice smooth lines. And then of course for the lettering, these filbert tip brushes are the best. Let me show you just a few of them. They come in sizes from like one all the way up to 12. So they have little bitty ones and then they have much bigger ones. Now the ones that I used tonight uh, was a size 10 and then I used a round tipped brush in a size 2 to do the shadowing. Um, I don't have these linked on my resource list but I have some that work just like these. It's just not these specifically. I actually don't like how long the handle is on these but anyways. Okay she said how did you get your base coat so smooth and even? That's another great question. I have some of these linked in the resource list as well. See how long, uh, wide these are? Actually, the one I used to do the background is even wider. Let me show you it. See how, oh, well, I'm dripping paint, dripping water. Y'all, I'm a mess tonight. Making a mess. I'm always a mess, but, okay. See how wide that is? When you do a base coat with a brush this wide, your paint's gonna go on so much smoother, and you're not gonna have near as much streaking because you're covering a large area, and you won't be able to see your brush strokes very, um, very well. Kelly says you cut your long handles off. Maybe I need to do that because this brush gets on my nerves because of that. Oh, Beverly, she's excited. Yay. Beverly's the one who got this for her daughter, Emily. And I told her I was going to be painting it tonight on Facebook Live. So Beverly, it's not quite done yet. I do need to make a really big cute bow for it. So, um, I'll do that later. I didn't get out all the supplies to do that on Facebook Live. But tonight is the fifth day in a row that I've done Facebook Lives, and I'm doing 10 days in a row. So I'm going to be doing it every day from now until September 1st. 
Like I said, if you want to join Painter's Clubhouse, it reopens on Thursday and Friday. You can go and read more about it by commenting the word Clubhouse. If you want to paint one of your own and you want the template, you can just type in template. If you want to buy just a blank circle to paint your own, type in blank and it will send you a link for that as well. And if you want to catch me live tomorrow night and be notified when I go live, oh shoot, you guys, I forgot something on this. Um, type in live alert. I forgot to do the cute little outline around the edge of the ball. I got so excited about the hand lettering that I forgot the final detail. So let me show you. I'm going to use the same number two round tip brush. I'm just going to do like a little dot, 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 and then wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Those wiggles are so easy. You just kind of waggle your brush back and forth. And you can do two or three dots. You can do one dot. There's really no rules. No rules at all. It's going to turn out cute no matter how you do it. You need all the lettering tips you can get, Dee Dee. That's funny. Well, I do try to do one hand lettering tutorial at least every other month, if not every month. Or I try to at least include it in some of my videos so that you guys continue to improve upon that. Because it's really just one of those things that you just have to continually work on and practice. Now, I'm still learning and trying to get better at it. I know you guys think I'm a pro, but really, sometimes I'm not that confident. It depends on what kind of lettering I'm doing. So, um, just keep working at it and don't give up. Practice makes perfect is the truest statement there ever was. Okay. And we've got our little ziggy zaggies. Doesn't that look so much better? I don't know why. I kept thinking it was missing something and I couldn't think of what. So it's going to have a great big bow. I'll take a picture of it on my door tomorrow and post it for you guys to see. But look at that lettering up close. Isn't that cute? Really cute. Got a little drop shadow with that Carolina blue. All right. Thank you guys for hopping on here. Monica says, can you do an anchor door hanger? Um, I don't have any anchor door hangers ordered right now that um, I need to work on, but I might have one if you go way back in my videos from a couple of years ago. There's a chance that I might have an anchor door hanger on one of those. I don't know. Okay, Cecile says, how will it hang up? Let me grab my staple gun and I will show you. It's right over here. I cannot wait until I get my craft room back so that I am more organized. Because right now I'm living out of boxes like a homeless person nearly. Okay, so I've got some jute string. I tie a knot in each end. Just like that. And then um, normally I would flip this upside down, but because it's wet, I'm just going to hold it up and find the center. And so um, kind of center it up a little bit. And then you're going to staple these on the back. Now look, my staple gun has been altered. You see that electrical tape? I've got just a smidge piece of like thick paper or cardboard right under there. And that keeps my staples from going all the way through because it kind of holds it up off the door hanger. This is hard to do while talking and holding and everything on a live video. But just make sure there's a knot in each end. And I use a staple gun with quarter inch staples. You can get these staple guns at Lowe's. I also have them linked on my resource list with everything else. Ow, got my finger pinched in there. All right, so there we go. That's how I hang it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. No drilling holes, no messing with metal wire or anything like that. So, so easy. All right, thank you guys for being on here with me tonight. Um, I will see you guys again tomorrow night. And thank you for watching and sharing. And uh, we will do the drawing for the templates on Monday. How about we do it Monday? Sounds good. See you guys later. Bye.